Hi, everyone. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If you can also give me a collective thumbs up as we're going through here. If you can hear me okay. Yeah, thumbs up. Good man, Chase. Thumbs up, Zach. You can get a double thumbs up there, mate. Are you already squatting? Oh, no. Great to see you guys. Um, great to see so many faces. If you do, um, as the session goes, we'll, we'll get started in a couple of minutes. If you do want feedback throughout the session, um, as in if you want me to sort of uh, make comments on, on your, you know, your form and, and anything like that, um, have your camera on. If not, don't stress. You don't need the camera on as long as you can hear me. Um, that's perfect. You will need tonight, uh, as usual, our, our mini band. Um, you will need your, your mini band, um, but we can, you know, we can sort of modify things if you don't have that and it's not necessary, like it's not totally necessary, but it would be preferred. If we've got any older athletes, so I'm talking sort of 16, 18, and, and you've been doing not only these programs um, that we've been doing throughout lockdown, but, but other strength and conditioning programs, um, feel free to grab a, uh, a kettlebell of some description or, or, a, uh, or, a, or, or a dumbbell of something, just to add some extra resistance, not uh, nothing too heavy or too crazy, but we will be doing um, squats and split squats. So if you feel like you need that added sort of resistance, and, and you're competent in the movement and you, you've been practicing them for a fair amount of time, you've built up that training um, body, then, then, then add, feel free to add the resistance or potentially even a longer, um, a longer resistance band, like one of these ones could be used as well. Otherwise, our body weight's going to be plenty. Tonight's session, oh, and obviously, make sure you have a drink bottle as well. Make sure you get your drink bottle. Keep it nearby so we don't have to take too many breaks. So for those that did Monday's session, uh, the focus was a little bit more on, you know, get up and go. So we were doing sort of plyometrics, jumping, uh, sprint technique. It was, a, it was a bit of a power session. Um, this session's a little bit more strength-based. So it's a little bit more your squat, uh, push-up, split squat, plank and calf raises and things like that. So there won't be as much go, 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 go. Um, I don't know if you guys did, if anyone did hoop fit last night with Cassie, which was terrific. That was sort of go, 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 a little bit of cardio, a little bit of ball handling. This will be a little bit more uh, stationary. Um, what we're going to be doing is a little bit more about technique. So I'll get started. We've still got people coming in. Um, so I'm not in too much of a hurry, but if everyone can just get their resistance bands ready to go, uh, we will just do, actually, we'll start with mobility. We'll start with some mobility. So if you guys have space around you, you need not as much space as Monday, but you will need a, you know, probably a couple of meters square worth of space if you're indoors. If you've got a hard surface, I'm on carpet. If you're on tiles or uh, wood, you will need a uh, like a yoga mat. Uh, and just confirming everyone's got everyone's muted at this stage as well. So we want to have it set to uh, active active speaker. But I've got it so that you can unmute yourself. So if you've got any questions, so make sure you set active, active speaker so you can see me and no one else pops up. Um, the mobility we're going to do to begin with is a bit of a uh, like a calf mobility exercise. Oh, Alex. <laughs> yeah, feel free to use the chat and see what you can. So it's a bit of a calf mobility exercise. What we're going to do is we're actually going to get down to like almost a full squat. And we're working on knees over toes, okay? We're going to come down to a full squat. And what we're going to do is we're going to put I'm going to step forward with my left leg, okay? So I'm in like a sort of a low crawl here. And then I'm going to bring my left knee over my toe, okay? So I'm in a crawl position. You can start, if it's easier, you can start in like a lunge position here, almost like we're stretching a hip flexor, okay? And you're just going to roll your knee down to the carpet or to the floor over your toe slowly like that. And you should feel that stretch up the back of your sole, uh, the back of your calf here. Okay, and then we're bringing our knees to the ground. So if you're in bare feet as well, you'll feel this a little bit in your big toe. So your big toe should be sort of really flexed back and you're stretching your big toe a little bit. If you've got space to keep going in that same direction, you can. So you've now stepped forward with your right leg. And again, we'd be bringing that knee to the ground. I'm sort of going off screen, so I'm going to come back this way. So again, so you can see, I've got my right leg here. And I'm bringing... I'm trying to keep my heel down as long as I can. So I'm trying to keep my heel flat, but at a certain point when my knee comes over my toe, my heel's going to start to lift off, but I'm sort of pushing back so I feel that stretch in the back of my calf. And then my knee comes to the floor. And I can sort of rest there for a second with, like, with my toe, with my back 
to the toes still still down and I feel that stretch sort of through my foot and through my Achilles. Uh, it's a really good one. All right, really quickly, um, again, mobility. I know you guys have seen me do this one, so we're going to go into a low squat position. Again, I, call, I, I like to call it the, uh, the Spider-Man squat. Okay, we can do it as a lunge. We're going to do it as a squat today. So again, we're going, to, we're going to squat down as low as we can, or first and foremost, you're probably going to put your hands under your feet or under your toes, and then you're going to bring your bum down as low as you can into that squat position here. Okay, so what that looks like on the side is hands to my toes, down into a full squat position here. All right. From there, so I've got my hands in front, so I've got my hands, my, my arms in between my legs. From there, I'm going to keep my left foot, uh, my left hand under my left foot, and I'm going to twist and reach up to the sky with my right hand. So I'm twisting, reaching, I'm breathing deeply. Two or three deep breaths. And then I come back. I put my right hand under my right foot. And then I'm looking up now at my left hand. Oh, my mobility is not as good on that side, as you can see. So I need to breathe into it a little bit more and try and get a little bit more range of motion by breathing, okay? And up we come. Okay, that's our mobility. Really good job, guys. So now we've got our, our mini band. Let's chuck that on. Okay, we're gonna do our crab walk. So almost like our defensive slide. So chuck the band around your ankle. If you don't have a mini band, that's fine. You can still do the crab walk if you don't have a mini band. Um, so chuck it on around your ankles. So just on your sort of soft line above your, just above the top of your shoe. I'll step back so you can sort of see where mine is. Right down here, soft line, okay. And all we're doing is we're gonna do 10, 10 to our right, 10 to our left. We'll probably do it in fives because I don't have too much space. So if you don't have a band, I still just want you to, Sit down low, almost like you're in a defensive slide position, back nice and straight, chest up, and we're going five to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Bend your knees, stay down low, and then come back to our left. One, two, three, four. Good job, guys. Five. Okay. Again, from the side, it's like a squat. So I don't want to see no bend in our hips and our knees like this. Okay. See how my back's straight, two, two parallel there, uh, sorry, two vertical. Okay, I want you to stick your butt back as well. Okay, that defensive stance is all about having your bum back and getting down nice and low. So let's go another five to our right if you haven't already done it. So we get 10 each way. And five, hand back to my left. Three, four, five, good job. All right. And our first exercise, you can keep your band there. Our first exercise is actually our, uh, our squat with the mini band. So you're gonna bring now the band up above our knees. Bring the band up above your knees and we're gonna do our squat movement. So what we've got um, is again, we're gonna do, we'll probably do two sets. Okay, we're gonna do five squats. What I wanna focus on here is again, we're drilling down on the form of the squat movement. Okay, it's a really important movement for jumping and landing. So we're not doing it explosively today like we were Monday, but what we're going to do is we're going to do slow down, okay, because we're doing sets of five, okay? So we've got two sets of five. Those of you that are confident with this movement, do it now at your own pace. Those of you that are new, watch me, and I'll talk you through the first uh, the first step, okay? So two sets of five. If you're already started, go for it. Make sure you have a 20-second break after your first set. Grab a drink, come back, okay? For those that are new, here's how we start. So feet shoulder width apart. Okay, you can see my feet there on the ground. If you're not really confident getting shoulder width apart, sort of put your foot, bring your, bring your toe in to meet the middle of your left foot and just twist your right foot back out, keeping your heel down. That should get you to about uh, hip distance, shoulder distance. Just make sure someone, I think, might have their, uh, their microphone on muted there. I'll shift it off the screen for a sec. So again, we're, 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 we're shoulder distance apart from the side on, how it looks. I've got the band around my knees. That's activating my glutes and I'm sitting my bum back first and coming down into a squat, holding there and then pushing back up, okay? So we're sitting on an imaginary chair. I want you to count three on the way down. One, two, three, and then explode and push back up as quickly as you can. Again, so make sure you get your foot, your feet in the right position. One, two, three, explode back up. If you've done one set and you're already resting, do your second. If you've got time, you can do a third set. 
Okay, so we're doing four. I want you to go down, one, two, three, sitting on that imaginary chair, one, two, hold there, and float up, okay? That's one set. If everyone's done one, and they're already onto their second, you, you're more than welcome to do a third set. So again, with these sessions, we're gonna be following the strength and conditioning program or the athlete development programs that are on our website. So you guys can access these in your own time. Um, in these sessions, you'll do them under my sort of guidance, but you could do these sessions two or three times a week on your own as well. So if you do them with me on a Thursday, on a Monday, you might also want to throw it in on a, a Saturday or a Sunday or maybe a Friday and a Wednesday. Don't do both on the same day. So I'm going to do my second set. Actually, I'm going to have a look at a couple of people. So Chase, just, just sit your bum back a little bit, mate. So turn side onto the camera for me. Oh, thanks, Daniel. That's it, mate. Sit your bum back, keep your back straight. Good. Really good. Everyone's good. Good job, Reed. We're not jumping, mate. Come on now. I know you're explosive. I know you're trying to dunk it. Be the first under 12 player to ever dunk it, but no, we're just, we're not doing squat jumps. Good job, girls, there. Awesome. Awesome. Matty Polglaze, perfect. Well done. Cody, perfect. Good job. Cam, you're in a break. Oh, good job. Awesome. Awesome. Good stuff, guys. Form's really good. Good job. Jesse, you can grab a weight, mate, if you've got anything. If not, let me know if you want something. Big fella, we can get you something, no, no problems at all. Good job, guys. All right, if you've done your two sets and, and I'm still talking, you can, you can do a third set. Otherwise, keeping our band on now, we're going to move to the floor. So we're going to do a glute bridge, okay? So for those who haven't done a glute bridge before, we're going to be doing um, two sets of six, okay? So I'm coming to the floor now. So hopefully you guys can see me okay all the way back here. Uh, yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. So I'm lying on the floor as if I'm about to do sit-ups, okay? Basically, as if I'm about to do the standard kind of sit-up. My feet are flat on the ground. Um, my lower back is flat on the ground. I know my head's up right now, but it won't be when I'm doing the movement. Um, I'm trying to watch you guys. So what we're doing here is essentially, once we've got our feet in the right position, you really don't want, you don't need that much distance between your feet, and you don't want them touching. So the way I do it is I generally just make a ball with my fist, and I make sure my fist can fit between my feet nice and easily, okay? Probably even a little bit further. So make sure you've got about a fist between your feet. Still got our band around our, uh, just above our knees, okay? Um, and the other thing is, in terms of how far your heels are away from your bum, you want to be able to, from this lying position here, you want to be able to sit up and, and, and sort of touch your heel. You should be able to just sort of touch your heel, okay? By sort of going sideways like that. So if I, if I roll to the side there, and I'll go side to side like that, I need to be able to touch my heels. If I can't, I need to bring my feet in a little closer. From here, all we are doing is pushing our hip up to the roof. Okay, so we're squeezing our bum. What it looks like here, my shoulders are staying flat on the carpet, and I'm pushing my glutes, I'm pushing my hips up to the roof, and we're doing six of these. Okay, so we're coming up, and then coming slowly back down. When you get to that top, the top of this of this sort of glute bridge, you want to squeeze your bum, okay? That, they're the muscles we're really trying to strengthen and activate here. This is a movement that is just um, so, so important in terms of protect, protecting our, um, our knees, our lower back, but also if we can build strength in this movement, um, it's really, really important for sprinting uh, and taking off in the horizontal plane of motion, but it's also been proven to help our vertical leap as well. Okay, so that's our, our glute bridge. I want you guys to do, we're going to do two sets. So if you're in between sets right now, I'm going to watch the second set. Okay, because technically getting this right is really, really important. Again, guys, if you've got your video on, this is where it's important to have your names on there too, so you know who I'm talking to. Reed, that's pretty good. Just come up and hold for a little bit longer. Zach, that's good, mate. Come back down. Really good. Good job, guys. Yep. Excellent. Everyone's looking like they're doing pretty well. Yeah, Matty Polgo, you should probably bring your feet in a little bit, mate. Just a little bit. Cody, that's perfect, mate. You know what you're up to. Good job, Cam. Well done. You've got the sisters there. Good job, Alyssa. Well done, mate. You're, you're trying to break a world record there, Alyssa, by holding that as long as you can. So we're coming up and down. Up and down. Good job. Well done, Cade. Awesome, Alex. Well done. Good, Jesse. Good explosiveness. Got the weight, mate. I love it. Good job. Well done. 
good. Everyone seems to be doing pretty well. The beauty of this exercise is there's not a lot of risk involved in it. It's a good body weight exercise. It's a really good activation exercise before we start our session. So um, if you guys are on to your second set, I'll keep watching. That's really good, Chase. Maybe just bring your heels in a little bit, mate, because you need to be able to touch them with your hands there. Bring your heels a bit close to your butt. That's it, mate. Good job. Good job, Sarah. Having a break? Or, yeah. If, you, if, you've, if you've done your two sets and you want to do a third set, we do have time to do a third set if you'd like. Up to you guys. The program is to do the third set. Good job. Excellent, guys. Moving on to upper body next to finish off if you're doing that third set. Finish that off. Good job, Jonty. Try and do a little bit more explosive up, squeeze and hold, and then come slowly back down. That's good. All right, guys, if you've had a break, you've had a drink, we're going to move on to our push-up. Most of you will, will know what these look like, I think. But I'll go through it again quickly. Maybe we should show everyone some music because I keep popping up. <laughs> Does someone have a question? Oh. Oh, all good. Okay, push-up. So we're moving on. So we're coming down to the ground again. If you've got a mat, perfect. If not, if you're on the carpet, that's okay as well. So we've got um, we've got a few versions of these. With the push-up, uh, we're really we're doing as many reps as possible. Okay. So what that means on the program, if you if you go and have a look at the program when we upload it, it says A M A T. That means as many as possible. That's what that means. So we're really working almost to exhaustion here with this. So we're really trying to build that time under tension and challenge you guys a little bit with this movement. So again. With our push-ups, we can go from all fours like this. We can go all fours, bringing our chest in between our hands here. Okay, that's about that's roughly 30% of you, probably 20 to 30% of your body weight. So if you're just beginning, that can be a good way to do push-ups with, with sort of your hip bent as well. If you want to go to about 40 or 50% of your body weight, shift your knees back now. So I'm still on my knees, but my knees are not underneath my hips. Okay, if that makes sense, my knees are further back and my hips are actually locked in. And now I'm coming down with about, yeah, 50% of my body weight. Okay, and then the last, the last option is up onto my toes. All right, so I'm here on my toes. Okay, I'm doing a push up, just probably about 50, 50, 50 uh, sorry, 70% of my body weight. Okay, so we're going to do as many as possible. We'll do two sets. Um, I'm going to do one set and see how many I can get. Um, let's let's see how many we can get. Well, let's do the first set. I want to see who can get the most. Okay, I'm going to try and do as many as I can, and then for the second set, I'm going to come and watch you guys. All right. Again, I don't want you to do the toes push up if you still can't confidently do them on your knees, and if you can't do them on all fours with your hips over your knees. Um, but you can mix it up too. Like if you get tired and you're doing them on your toes, you can only do four on your toes, or you can only do four on your knees. Um, then swap back to the easier version for another three or four. We want to get about a minimum of eight. Here we go, guys. Two. Three. Four. Good job, guys. Oh, 20 will do me, I think. Oh, yeah, 20. I'm not great at push up, guys. That's no secret. Keep going, keep working. Awesome stuff, guys. Good job. <laughs> work guys all right excellent excellent how do we go how, how many did everyone get feel free to shout out your number what do we get put your mic on 20 20 same as me good job well done 10 10 or 20 <laughs> yep 30 from Kate. 18. Oh, 18 well done awesome try and remember that number the next time you do it try and beat that number 
okay? But, but the form is important. I thought you'd still be going, Cody Jarman. I, I actually picked you for probably finishing the session out just doing push-ups, but that's all right. Hey, good job, guys. Really good. Let's do our second set now. 15, Alyssa, well done. Awesome. Reed, 12, perfect. We're getting over eight. That's really good, guys. That's just a great strength level. So let's just keep challenging ourselves with that, okay? I'm going to step away again. Let's do a second set, and then we're moving on. Again, I'm going to show you guys the form from front on. Um, I should have done that first and foremost. Sometimes we get a little bit confused and our elbows come out to the side like this. We actually want our, our arms, as we're going into that push-up, we want our elbows to almost glide past the side of our body, okay? Uh, it's a little bit harder, but it's better for you, okay? So try and keep your hands directly underneath your shoulders and try and keep your arms. So you'll see here from me, hopefully, you'll see here that my arms just sort of glide back. They're not out like this. Okay, so see how I'm sort of not chicken winging like that? They're staying tucked in a little bit, not, not, not tucked right by my side, but, but sort of moving so that my elbows end up pointing behind me, not out to the side like that, so they point back like, like that. That makes sense. It's a bit hard to show on the screen. Probably easier if I'm backwards. So that's sort of the movement we're looking at getting, not this out wide. All right, if we've done our second set, looks like a lot of you have done your second set, let's move to our split squat, which is another terminology for the lunge. Okay, split squat. So we went through this uh, in the second program, the, the last time we had our Zoom strength and condition. So again, we're coming to this lunge position here. This is the shape of our lunge that we're looking for here, guys. Okay, you can have a little bit of knee over toe movement like that but preferably your shin is pretty vertical at the front there. So if you, if you come to this position here, this should be probably our starting point, okay? And then we're, we're just pushing up from there, all right? So once you know you're in that position there, looking at me side on, so my back thigh here is straight up and down, and my front shin here is sort of straight up and down. That's the position we're looking for. I've got my toes sort of flexed on this back foot, and this lead foot right here is flat on the ground. My foot's flat on the ground. We're doing two sets of six. Okay, so this is six on each leg, okay? I'm gonna do the first set with you and then I'm gonna come and watch the second set, okay? So I've got my right leg forward here. I know in the camera it looks like my left leg. And we're pushing up the six. Here we go, guys. There's one. Again, if you, if you wanna shift your heels around, you guys play around with this a little bit. I want you to practice this movement and get comfortable uh, knowing where what what form suits you best, you may need to move your feet back and forth a little bit. It's up to you. And four, five, and six. Swapping legs again. When you come down, I don't want you to rest that knee on the ground. Okay, we can start from this position, but in between sets, I don't want you to rest there. I just want you to tap your knee down. Even if you've got a mat or something like that underneath, you can just tap on the mat and then explode back up. Up to one, let's do six on this leg, two, three, four, five, and six. Good job. Okay, have a breather. If you've already been doing it, because you're confident with this movement, you've done it plenty of times, you can go on to your second and third set as I'm watching some of our newer members do the session. But we're making really good time here, so good job, guys. I'm going to come and watch your second set as I do that. I'm just going to get the Blues logo that's up there just so it's not just my chest as I'm watching you guys go to work. Good stuff, guys. Awesome. Good job, Jonty. Well done, mate. Perfect. That's a perfect little knee tap. Reed, you could probably, you're a little bit cramped. You might need to shift that front foot just slightly forward, mate. Not a lot. Just that front leg. Yeah, that's probably enough, mate. And then that'll be a little bit better for you. That's better angle. Just keep your back straight. Good job, Zach. Good, Cody. Cam. Awesome. Cody. Other Cody, not Cody Jarman. Great job. Awesome. Well done. Yep, good. That's a good amount of knee over toe there. Cody, that's, that's not bad at all. That's fine. You're in a good position there where you are. Excellent. Good job. Yeah, Matt, Matt, similar thing. Your front heel's starting to come off the ground. You could probably put your front forward slightly forward. You're pretty long now. So you just put that. Yep, that's a bit better. And then that heel should stay flat. Perfect. That front heel needs to stay pretty well on the ground. Good job, guys. 
If you haven't done your second set yet, do your second set. Kobe, you're having a similar problem. Just shift that forward, foot forward a little bit, mate. Um, so you, you, your front heel. If your front heel starts to lift off the ground, we're, we're in a bit of uh, probably not what, exactly what we're looking for. Excellent, guys. Good job. Again, with the older boys, I've just spotted Liam in here. I think that's Liam Atkinson from our and in one. You're in here, mate, and you've got to wait. Jesse, I can see you there. That's perfect, mate. A couple of dumbbells. Great work, mate. Way to set the, uh, set the example. So, and next exercise, guys, we've got uh, two to go. Two to go. We've got a plank. Okay, so I'm going to come back on. If you're still going with your second or third set, that's fine. We're going into a plank now. So, really similar setup to our push up. Same again. You need to do this on your knees. Again, I just ask that you have your hips locked in like this. Okay, don't be on all fours like this. That's not really working our core. So a big part of our core is actually our hip flexors and our glutes. Um, and if we've got our if we've got our hips bent like I have here in, on all fours, my glutes and my hip flexors are pretty much doing nothing. So we want to have my hips locked forward like this. Okay, you can do it on your knees. Um, you can be down on your on your elbows. Okay, which is pretty standard for a plank or a prone hold. Or you can be up in the top of the push up. If you want to do it on your hands, that's a little bit of an extra challenge. Um, we're going to hold for 60 seconds. Let me just grab my timer. I'm going to hold, we're going to do two sets of 60 seconds. All right. Everyone down in position. And here we go. I'm up on my toes. I can see you guys for this first one. Just make sure you have your hands directly under your shoulders. Chase, I can see your hands are a bit too far forward. So either push forward onto your toes or bring your hands back a bit, mate. That's really good. Cam, good job. Cam, I like how you like to go face first into the camera. Just really staring me down, holding me accountable. I like it, mate. Good job, Cody. Solid as a rock. I reckon you could stay there all day, mate. Good job, guys. Really good. Alyssa. Other Cody. Awesome. Awesome, Sarah. Hold strong. That's 30 seconds. Doing really well, guys. I know this is a bit of a longer plank than we're used to doing, but... That's okay. If you need to come down to your knees, if you're on your toes and you feel like, okay, I need to drop to my knees for the last 10, that's fine as well. You just keep a track of that yourself. You're only competing against yourself with this stuff. Breathing's really important too. Three, two, and come down. Good job. Grab a, grab a quick breather. If you need a drink, if your drink bottle's nearby, grab a drink. Awesome. Well done, guys. One more set of that. One more set of that. I'll keep time. And again, I'm going to have a look at you guys because now the fatigue's starting to set in just a little bit. We just want to be conscious. You don't have to, plank doesn't have to be perfect under fatigue. It's just good to know. It's good feedback. All right, so let's go into our second set here. Three, two, one. Up you come. Good job. Excellent. Good job, Cody. Well done. Both Cody's. Awesome. Oh, all three Cody's. <laughs> well done. Excellent, guys. Good job. Good job. Older, older, older crew, if you want a little bit of a challenge, we're 20 seconds in. If the standard plank's a little bit too easy for you, go one hand at a time, tap the other shoulder, if that makes sense. So go one hand on the ground, bring one arm up, and tap the other shoulder. But actually, no, actually lift your hand. Like, so if you're on your hands doing the push-up, like in the top of a push-up, you bring one hand up, that's it, and you're swapping. Yeah, perfect. Keep going, guys. 20 seconds to go. Keep working. Great job, Alyssa. Keep going. Good job, Sienna. Your sister's there doing one all challenging each other, trying to knock each other over. Good job, Jack. We've got 10 seconds. Keep working. Good job, Cade. Well done. Don't do it with your brother, Cade. He's not doing that. And rest. Good job, guys. Well done. Good job, Matty. Well done. All right. Last one, guys. Calf raises. Grab a drink if you need it. I'm going to go over to the wall. Oh, that's a bit too close to my face for, for my liking. All right. Stop, stop watch. All right. Over to the wall. We've got two sets of calf raises here. We're nearly done. So, again, I'm just, going to, I'm just going to use the wall. I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to hold on to anything. If you've got a railing or a door, um, if you want a little bit of support, I'm just going there for balance more than anything right now. So we're going 15 calf raises um, 
total. So I, 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 let's just do both legs at the same time right now. I don't think we need to do single leg calf raises just yet. We'll build towards that. So again, if I've, I've got my back to you guys, I'm coming all the way up onto my tippy toes, slowly back down. Okay, so most things we do, we're explosive onto our tippy toes or explosive on the way up. Okay, which is, which is good for basketball. Obviously, we want to be able to jump up quickly, but we want to be able to land and come down with control. Okay, so all of our downward movements, including our calf raises, are slowly down. Okay, so we're pushing up onto our toes, starting to feel that burn a little bit in the back of our calves. We're doing 15, okay? 15 of those. I'm going to come and have a look at you guys. Perfect. All the way up on your tippy toes. Again, guys, the beauty is that we're, we're doing these, well, not beauty, but we are able to do a lot of these sessions indoors. You can do these, these in bare feet if it's not too cold, and that can be really good sometimes to build the muscles of your feet and your ankles. Sometimes that's good to mix it up a little bit and just get that feeling of the feet on the ground, directly onto the ground. Okay, so once you've done 15, have a break, and then we're into our last set of 15. It's important to remember to keep your knees locked in as we do this. So don't sort of, maybe don't bend your knees, uh, maybe a soft bend, but really just have your knees locked in. So that's my knees are locked, and then just come up, up onto our tippy toes. If you, if you want a bit of a challenge, okay, for some of the boys, you guys can grab a kettlebell or, or, or a dumbbell if you've got it and just hold that in the middle there. Hold that across, so I'll just hold it in the middle here. And you just come up on your toes and then slowly back down, okay? So a little bit of resistance, not too much. Just enough, we're doing 15, which is a pretty high volume here. So it's gonna be a little bit of muscular fatigue. If you wanna do your third set, if you've, got, if you've already done your second, you can. Everyone's looking like they're doing pretty well. That's good. So with these sessions, we're not going through the motions here, Blues. We're making sure we're working hard, holding each other accountable. Really good, Jack. Good, Toby. Good job, Jesse. Awesome, Matt. Awesome. Good balance. Awesome. Good job, Alex. Hold well on, mate. I like your name, Alex. Alex is the best at basketball. I might change my name. Yeah. But Jared is better at basketball than Alex. And Alex will have to change his name again. Jared's a liar. Okay. Awesome, guys. Keep working. We've got second set. Once we've finished that, we'll have a real quick chat and we'll finish up there. Good job. If you finish, grab your water, grab a quick drink. Okay. We're, I'm not going to go through a full foam rolling uh, sort of uh, recovery or warm down. But if you've got your foam roller, now, it could be a really, really good time um, just to jump on. Based on today's session, um, some of the other stuff we've been doing, probably good to do your glutes, okay? So really quickly, again, we're in that. We're sitting directly on our foam roller. I've got my right ankle or my right foot on my left knee, just going back and forth, focusing on breathing, um, and probably calves as well, okay? So get your calves. They're the really, probably the, maybe not the main, Probably those two, and then ITB, so down the side of our leg here, that painful one that we go back and forth, like on the side here, that's a good one to get as well. All right. If you're gonna do some foam rolling, excellent if you've got it. If not, that's okay as well. Um, you can just do a, a quick sort of a, you can just maybe do a quick sort of a static stretch. So just a really gentle sort of a calf stretch against the wall. Don't hold, probably because we've just done calf raises for longer than sort of five seconds, 10 seconds max, each leg. Um, and again, glutes are a big one. So we can do our, our sort of cradle, our cradle with our, our, our hand on our, uh, just below our kneecap and on our ankle if you're just stretching, if you're not foam rolling, or you can put your ankle again, like we did with the foam roll, you can put it on your knee and sort of sit into that stretch and feel that stretch down the side of your leg and into your glute. And then we've got, you know, old faithful uh, quad, quick quad stretch because we did do um, some lunges and some split squats. Okay, go through those stretches, go through a quick foam roll. Um, otherwise, guys, that's, that's it. Um, yeah, that's fine, all this stuff. Yeah, if you do foam rolling after the session, that's perfect. If you guys know what you're doing, I trust you guys now. You guys are um, you're in a good rhythm with this stuff. So um, tomorrow night we have. 
Uh, we have a skill session with Liam Doyle Toombs, train with me. Uh, that's at five o'clock. Um, that, that, that will be able to be done indoors um, or outdoors. Uh, that will be able to be done indoors or outdoors. So it's up to you guys. Um, if you've got an undercover area, it won't matter if it's raining. It won't matter if you've got a hoop. Um, we'll obviously let you guys know if there's any hoop stuff involved. But Liam Doyle Toombs is going to take that, one of our NBL1 players, that should be terrific. Uh, Sunday morning, we've got another hoop fit session with, with Abby Chernishoff, who a lot of you guys know, terrific coach and player. And then Sunday night, uh, we have a, a cooking session. It looks like I'm going to be running maybe some, maybe not cooking, maybe maybe more meat, like food preparation. So maybe take you guys through some healthy snacks you can make at home. I don't think I'm much of a cook. I don't really want to show you guys uh, <laughs> my lack of skills in that area, but I can prepare some some healthy snacks. We might do that on uh, on Sunday night and then we roll into our second week again. Um, so you guys know where the schedule is, hopefully on the website. We'll upload our strength and conditioning programs. There's a link to those on the website, but we'll link that in with the session um, in the description so that you guys can access these programs and you can do probably each session at least once a week with me or you can do it twice a week. You can do the sessions again away from me. So, all right guys, we'll finish up there just on sort of 35 minutes. So. Thank you very much for joining me again tonight. I uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you guys are well. Uh, keep keep uh, keep studying, keep working hard. Don't be uh, too, don't be hassling on your parents too much. Um, and as always, contact me if you need anything. I'm, I'm always here to chat. So, all right, guys, have a great night. Thanks, Jared. Thank you. Welcome, Jared. Cheers, Jared. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Jared. Thank you. See you guys. Good on you. Good on you, Alex. Talking away there, mate. See you later. See you, Jackson. See you, Sienna. See you guys.